Pink on? Pink is going yeah, on. Yeah, streaming. It's definitely streaming now. What's happening? Well, I'm Steven from right. Springfield, Virginia. Nice to meet everybody. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to mute everybody. We got a lot of people to share tonight. Exciting. Disclaimers mm. already in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Heather. Record on this computer. Welcome to the ER Shred Come Alive weekly call. Hey, I'm Rosy Cheek Sean Escobar. No, <laughs> they're teasing me about this pink hat, but Crystal wants me to rock it. I like it. Looks good. <laughs> so I'm going to rock it. I'm going to rock it. Uh, yeah. Welcome. Good to be with you guys. Real quick, a couple just real checkoff okay. lists. Okay. So the uh, disclaimer is in the chat. The disclaimer is on Facebook. We don't make medical claims. We do not claim to cure, treat, prevent any disease. Please, if you share your testimonial tonight, do not mention any specific diseases or medical conditions. It's important that we stay in compliance and that we don't, uh, that we don't even be perceived as if we are insinuating things. We got more people coming in. We've got a lot of people to share tonight, Crystal. Awesome. Yeah, we got a good crowd tonight. This is fun. We got a big, big call tonight. We got a lot of people to share. And I asked Jesse, I said, Jesse, do you want me to push some of these people to next week? And he said, no, it's really important that we get all the testimonials. It's more important that we get the, the testimonials than anything else. And so, um, we're just gonna roll with that. So yeah. let me pull up the list here. The results coming in, you guys, make sure you're part of ER Shred um, on Facebook. Make sure, just go to ershredders.com. You'll see this thing is snowballing now. Um, the results are starting to, to really create, um, It's I guess you'd call it a natural effect. When something works for you, I can't, I can't do the, why? I just can't do it. It's just too pink for Looks me. It's good on you. <laughs> Feeling a little more masculine. Um, anyway, guys, just go check out the results and the stories that are coming in. And it's cool because it's getting buzzed. So my plumber came over today and his name's Josh, nicest guy. And what did he say? He goes, tell me about this. Tell me about this ER shred. I need to know about this Did ER shred. Did you just shred. see what you've been posting on Facebook? Yeah, he's just been seeing all these, you know, pictures and testimonials coming in. And so it's just fun, you know, like what we hope for, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's exactly what, like the call last night with Jesse and Susan and Bob Sivrights has stepped up and Susan Rothman stepped up, Jesse stepped up. There's so many others, I, you know, couldn't mention them all, but everybody's just brought their energy. Mm -hmm. Heather stepped up big time and everybody's just showing up. And even the ones that just support others like you, Mel, like, like April, and you guys will evolve as well. Um, mm -hmm. Jason, you know what? This is the culture, mm -hmm. Lisa. Like Steven, so awesome to see all you guys here. Yeah. You guys are doing so much for this community, and we just are so grateful to have you guys all bring your energy every Wednesday night. You know, you've heard, you know, there's so many of you that come every single Wednesday, and we just appreciate you bringing your energy, even though you've heard Jesse's presentation, many of you, but don't you just love it? Like, I just love to be here every Wednesday and to hear all these new testimony testimonials as well as like hearing updates on how you are all doing. Like April, she's been doing this for a while. So it's really a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun and it's proven to be a lifestyle, which is very exciting. People mm -hmm. have proven that ER Shred can be a lifestyle. And I just wanted to make mention today, Crystal's like, we're out of this and we're out of this and we're out of this. And I was like, what? Like in, you know, we have been in isogenics for 19 years, but what's crazy is like we would have excess product mm -hmm. and with ER shred, like the way we live, the way we eat, we can't, we can't keep the product in. We're burning through stuff because it's literally become food to us and our daughter. And it's just so great. Yeah. All right. Speaking of which I'm drinking my bone broth <clears throat> right now. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Let's start with, because she came on the call very first and I was going to leave her last, but she came on so fast and, and uh, her story is awesome. She was in the group. Um, sharing her testimonial, Cheryl, and I think it's Lucia, you out there, Cheryl? What we're going to do, we're going to have everybody share for 
two or three minutes and we might ask you a question or two, but we're just gonna have you share and then we'll move on to the next because we do have quite a few people tonight. Um, Cheryl, do you know how to unmute yourself? If not, I will track you down and unmute you. I'm unmuted. There you are. Hey, Cheryl. Hi. Hi, everyone. First of all, where are you calling from? We want to know you a little more. So Cheryl, did I say that? Because you may find me. <laughs> oh, that's right. You, you're in Florida, but you're from Rhode Island? I'm from Massachusetts. Yeah, that was We don't enunciate our R's, so I said Florida. You kind of like, which why I'm you blame me? <laughs> Why would you blame me for what Jesse did? Jesse was- Oh, is Jesse? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweet. I'm the sweet, I'm the choir boy. Come on, man. Hey, I, am, right. I am so Boston. I love Boston. I love, I love, love, love the accent. I love talking to Jesse. I could just sit and listen to that all day. Yeah. <laughs> so Tara, tell us like who introduced you to ER Shred and- and uh, um, Well, believe it or not, my friend Jennifer um, Lambert Smith, but also Dr. Ina, I'm, I'm um, in her downline and she had posted something on our product page and I'm like, ah, let me see what this is all about. And, you know, long story short, I, I was in fitness for more than half my life. I'm almost 60. I'll be 60. I'm, I'm pushing 59. Uh, I don't feel it. Um, and two years ago, I know you said we don't want to talk about any diseases and this isn't a disease, but I do want to um, mention it because I know a lot of people suffer. Um, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, which is your, your uh, metabolism literally stops working and hypo means let's put on weight. And, um, I've done fitness competitions where I've had to, uh, as people that know that have done fitness competitions of any kind, we count macros and that is no fun. And I do not want to have to be, um, weighing my meats, which I have done, you know, for the competitions. And so, um, two years ago when I was diagnosed with the hypothyroidism, um, all of a sudden I started blowing up, not putting on weight, just blow. And, um, not to mention that, or I will mention, I was very addicted to sugar. I hate to say that being in the fitness field for as long as I've been in, I left it a year ago to become a flight attendant. So there is another variable. I'm on planes where we blowed up. So I felt like I was a walking, like bloated person and I hated it. You know, it was just, and then the COVID hits <laughs> and we know what that's like. And, Hibernation. and I, I'm sorry. Hibernation. Yeah, right. But even though I wasn't hibernating, I was still working. Thank God I wasn't furloughed in any way. Um, but, you know, what was happening is I was just so uncomfortable in my skin. And I know everything that I need to do that's right. And I've been with Isogenics since 2012. Um, as a matter of fact, when you and I were talking last night, um, Sean, I was actually signing someone up through my husband, got him 16, um, 16, um, whatever. But at any rate, so that's neither here nor there. Um, so, I've been with isogenics for a long time and I've done the cleansing, but I still like that bloat just wouldn't go away no matter what I did. And I found this and oh my God, in 11 days, I, and I wasn't even doing it to lose weight because I didn't really need to lose weight. I just need to lose the bloat. I lost like, I think 11, 12 pounds um, in my stomach. Like I could see my abs again. Like I wasn't like, you know, the Michelin man. <laughs> I had abs, I'm so happy. I'm you know, so it, not to mention how easy this is, especially when I fly, like I literally make my meat, no joke. Like I made steak tonight for my family and I made enough where I made extra and it's in my freezer right now. So I take it out and I throw it in a little, I won't even I microwave it. I have a little, like, um, it's called hot logic, put it in, in, in the hot logic and it heats it up just perfect. And there's my I meat. You just reminded Crystal that she's cooking I, something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn it. No, no offense, no. she literally, when you said that, she said me and she ran. So. Oh, that's so funny. But I, I'm, I'm so grateful for this. And I've been doing this since November. I yes. went um, exactly how it was put out there. I followed it to a T. And those 11 days, or well, we really should say 12 days, because by the 12th day, you're done. And I started incorporating some things back in. I haven't had those sugar cravings. My weight's been where it is. I don't feel that bloat. I feel amazing. Um, you know, I'm cleansing here and there. Um, I haven't done a second ER shred, um, yeah. but I, because I've been following the protocol all along, but I have definitely incorporated other things back in. And I just, I feel phen phenomenal. Not that I won't do it again and follow the whole 12 days 
exactly the way it was put out there, I, I will. Um, Cause why not? You know, it, it, I, I, I feel and, so blessed. You know what I've realized, Cheryl, uh, we periodically, it benefits us, it behooves us to go baseline. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cheryl, your result, yeah. um, real quick, before I let you run, thank you so much. You, your result is absolutely breathtaking. Thank you. Cheryl, question. Was yours the picture on the spin bike? Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, when I saw that, that was one of those very first pictures. Bonnie's, Bonnie's uh, posted a picture of her, her ankles. That did it to me. There was another person that posted a picture of their hands. That did it to me. And your picture of you on that spin bike is saying, you know, guys, 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 like what, what happened to the bloke? That was one of those pictures okay. where I kind of like had to pinch myself and I thought, what have we discovered here? Right. And now mind you, that was just like last week I took that picture and I did this back in November, wow. like the true 11 days. And I've just stayed with the meats and, you know, every once in a while, like today I made mashed potatoes. I had them. They were delicious. Yeah. Will I do that often? Hell no. <laughs> but will I do it as a treat? Yes. And I feel fine. So, um, yeah, I'm so grateful that you guys did this because it really was what I was. I didn't know I was looking for it, but it was what I was looking for. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. I thank know you, you. Have, you have company in town and I thank, thank you, you so much for taking the time tonight. Oh, they're blessed. Thank you. I'm going to stay. I want to hear everybody else. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me to this. Like that really warms my heart. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Cheryl. We love you. And, thank you. you. I love you guys too. Keep coming up. Yeah. All right. Next, let's go with, uh, is Tiffany Garrigan out there? Now, Tiffany, if she's out there. She doesn't back oh, back. I haven't changed my name on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tiffany? We love your, your back flips in the, the, yeah. green, the green ER yeah. shred gear. Yeah, that shirt, <laughs> that color looks so good on you. The Shred Ninja. Where are you calling from, Shred Ninja? I am calling from Connecticut. Very cool. So up here on the Northeast Coast, too. <laughs> um, are you like a gymnast? Up with that, that home gym looks legit. Are you a gymnast? What was that? I'm not a gymnast, but I used to do before COVID shut my facility down. I was going to um, aerial classes and doing like silks and hammocks. Um, so I had the husband hang up a mount in the basement. So now that oh, we have the mount, we could hang up like the rings and all sorts of stuff. And like our rock climbing holds, and I'm like, could hang up like the rings and all sorts of stuff. And like our rock climbing holds, and all that's down there. <laughs> I, know, I know how that is as a husband. It's like, I could do that. I could build that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool, man. So tell us uh, who introduced you to ER Shred and the results. So I started Isogenics about four years ago, um, and then Adam introduced me to the ER Shred. Pat and I actually got married in November. So when the first uh, October Shred was happening, I was in like major wedding pandemic stress. And I was like, this is great, but I can't do it right now. I'll come back to this. <laughs> so after- Are you talking um, about Adam Sisk? Yes, Adam Sisk. Okay, good to know. Okay, very good. Cool. Um, and a couple of our teammates hopped on. I just like was not in a mindset to do it at that time. And then after we got married and actually had a wedding and we had no issues, I mean, we had a lot of issues for the pandemic, but the actual wedding day went nice and smooth. Um, and then it went to like eating and binging like chaos over here because it was like the stress of all that was over we were eating out a lot we had company and friends and alcohol and all that stuff um so come january i was like okay i need to look into this er shred thing now because i have to get back to baseline which you know i've done before in a variety of different ways but i needed something really strict because i was really deep in the alcohol and the sugar and everything so um I just, I knew I needed that elimination factor for sure. And I actually loved that it was super strict and easy because it was just, just made it convenient you to just what, think, real quick, cut it all out. About what you hey, real quick, for the people that are out there watching, you literally just said, I love that it was strict and easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Jesse I'm gonna let Jesse explain why that is true later, but yeah. that's that's a great way to put it. But go ahead. 
Yeah, so simple, I guess easy, no, but simple, yes, I don't know. Um, it was just easy to follow and um, it was nice to just have that simplicity and um, it was really easy to just, I don't know, I was able to reset the sugar cravings right away. Um, I had a couple days where I was like up and down and I knew that was just normal detoxing and resetting of my body, having like done an original like isogenics 11 day in the past. Um, but felt really good. My husband and I both did it. We both lost approximately 10 pounds that first 11 days. And we've been gradually incorporating things um, ever since. We haven't done another strict 11 day. Um, I'm actually trying to get pregnant, so I'm not cleansing, but I am kind of following an ER shred mentality, just incorporating a couple other things um, because I have to kind of modify a little bit now. But um, yeah, I love it. I mean, my energy is good again. And the bloating was like our biggest issue. Both of us were feeling like really bloated and tired and just felt like garbage and just didn't feel that way right away. So it was awesome. Um, and I still, we still feel great. Um, Cheryl mentioned having mashed potatoes and this weekend we went out and shared a bottle of wine and ate burgers and fries and like never felt like garbage and went right back to like shred protocol the next day. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> so it was that. awesome. I don't mind that one bit, you know, do you? Yeah. I don't mind that because we're going to live. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like Exactly. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Did you notice anything in terms of, you've heard a lot of people say, come alive. This, this call is called the come alive call. Did you ever have that moment where you're like, whoa, this is a different kind of energy? Yeah. Um, and I think Patrick too. So my husband was telling me actually just yesterday, I think, how and I don't know if it's the combination because we've done a lot of these different things. Like there was times when we were incubating our shakes, but we weren't doing like all of it together. And I think the combination just makes such a big difference. Um, and he was even saying, you know, just having switched up a couple things we had been before this using more of like the whole blend shakes. And he's noticed a dramatic change at the gym, um, like his mu muscle definition right away. And he's like not changed the way he works out. It's just what he's consuming. So um, he really loves that and just definitely feels, you know, more energized again at the gym. Wow. Thank you for that. I'm <laughs> always a little high energy. So that's a tough one. <laughs> hey, you know, you're, you're the backflip girl. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I've noticed it too. I've noticed in the last six months, well, now it's eight months, but in that six month period of time where I, when I initially started with ER shred, I was packing on muscle. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And I got sick recently. So I feel like I've lost some size that can happen. Um, but I'm, I'm almost completely better now. So I'm excited. Crystal, you look yeah. so pretty. You know, oh. when I talk into the mic, <laughs> I'm seeing myself and I see my wife and she distracts me. Like, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to like zone in on how beautiful you are. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Is there thank anything you else guys. about her? You, thank you so much. Yeah, Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Wow, that's awesome, you guys. Go check out these people's results. Just type in their names on, or, or hit them up in the chat and type in their names in the group and it'll pull up their results and you'll understand, you know, these, these results. A picture tells a thousand words. I mm -hmm. wish I could just flash those pictures right now for you um, because these people have really come alive. Yeah, and also check out our ER Shred YouTube channel. I've been putting up a lot of 45-second testimonials there, so that's been fun. Go ahead and invite everybody to do that. Yeah, if you just, um, it's in the group, the, ER, the, less, the link to the ER Shred YouTube channel, but I think if you search up ER Shred, we have two channels. There's one more of a community one, but then we have one that's where we're going to put like the main information and all the testimonials. So just go subscribe to both of those channels because we'll just keep putting up stuff on there. Like Jesse has a really awesome video up there now as well, talking about you know why we should never use the term cheat meal. And he goes into it really, he describes all the reasons why it's just, I don't know. I just love the things that Jesse shares. So we're just going to continue to put out content all over on the, the YouTube channel. And what's cool is I, I like how he approaches it too. It's yeah. like, don't call it that. Yeah, Did you know? it's like a mindset thing. Yes, you know? I like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Crystal, you want to announce the next person and ask her where she's calling from? Lindsay? Mm -hmm. Lindsay Hankins? Is that right? Yeah, I think okay. so. Lindsay, you want to come on and share with us? You have to unmute yourself, Lindsay, if you're out there. I think I see Hi. you. I unmuted myself. Can you hear me okay? okay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. So I'm from Kansas oh. City. Woo -woo. Kansas 
And yes, and was it Pamela Christensen that shared with you? Yes. Oh, yes. she's a she's a miracle worker. That one. Yeah. She's a <laughs> she's a pretty big life toucher. I mean, she's helping a lot of people. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> So I started back in January. Um, actually, I I was at a point where I was I knew I really wanted to needed to lose weight, but also my father has been suffering from Alzheimer's, and just watching how that's affecting the family. And I know that gut health is such a big link to that disease. And I just was like, I can't do that to my family. I need to do everything I can, really, to get healthy now and to make it a lifestyle so that I'm not in that position with my children and my husband. So just been really looking for stuff, but it's discouraging when you've tried a lot of different things and life is super, super busy right now. Uh, for me, I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff all happening at one time, which is great, but it's also very difficult to find a way to get healthy again in the middle of that. Um, and so after listening to Pamela and kind of looking at the protocol, exactly what that previous gal said, you know, it's simple, it's strict, and it's something that because I'm working from home right now, I can take advantage of to really get a hold of doing that. So I just decided to invest in myself. I've never spent that much money <laughs> on myself before, which probably says something. <laughs> um, so I just decided to do that and I was amazed right off the bat of how quickly it was easy to do and the results were really fast for me. So yeah. So give us an idea like what what are those results? What did what did you notice? What um, you know, what kind of results did you personally see? So energy at the beginning was a huge change. Um, there were some bumps along the way with energy that I um, experienced and got some help with, which I'm so thankful for the Facebook group because it's so nice to be able to just pop on there, ask a quick question and find what you need and not have to wait and wait, wait for that. Um, so that's been great uh, to get responses. I love a lot of the informational stuff that you guys have has been really, really helpful. Um, for me, it's not just about weight loss. It's also about doing the right thing for my body. And I know that inflammation, my chiropractor that I see weekly for years has been preaching inflammation, inflammation, you have to get this down, you know? Um, so now I'm trying to remember what the original question was. Did you notice anything else in terms of quality of life improvement? Yes, absolutely. Literally like the week before I started, I, I've always had pain just walking with my feet for no reason. And a week before I started, I was having pretty severe pain in my left knee, had not injured it, hadn't done anything to hurt it. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm in my forties. I shouldn't be just waking up for no reason having knee pain. I don't have any joint pain anymore whatsoever. It does not hurt for me to walk. I stand a lot at my desk and that's not painful anymore for me. I'm not exhausted from it. In fact, sometimes I'm more energized if I stand at my desk and work than, um, than when I'm not. So that was a big thing. I think too, I was surprised by the cravings. I mean, every everybody loves their sugar. I never was a sweet, sweet person, but my sugar was in other things, you know, lots of breads and other types of carbs. And I just really, it was easy for me to say no, which was shocking to me. My son loves to cook and he's a really, really good cook and he loves to bake stuff. And of course, being a teenager, he wants to bake all the good stuff, you know, <laughs> and he can't, he kept saying, so when you're off of this mom, you know, I'm like, no, 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 no. There's no being off anymore. This is different. I said, there'll be times where I can have some of your stuff to eat and I'll enjoy it, but this is not a do it for now. And then we'll go back to what I'm doing. I'm not going there anymore. So that's been pretty, it's taken him longer to get that than it took me because I was just so 
blessed and amazed um, at how fast and easy it was. I thought I would have to sweat a million, you know, <laughs> a million gallons of water to get to where I'm at as quickly as I've gotten there. Um, so I'm just really, really thankful for that. Mm, I love that. I love also that you're really taking into consideration your long-term health. You know, how you mentioned your father, you know, a lot of people just think more like in the now and like quick fix, but I really like that you're thinking that far ahead, you know, and how your health can act really affect your family as you get older. So I like that. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Lindsay. This is perfect. Um, you actually made me feel emotional because I feel so grateful that I have control uh, and, and I know you do too. So I just wanted to say thank you for touching on that. I sense what you're saying mm -hmm. uh, when you say, I, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. And that is a place of empowerment. It sounds like fear, but really, I believe it's a place from a place of empowerment. Mm -hmm. You know, the funny thing was I was um, really addicted. I loved my coffee. I was a coffee snob. I loved like really, really good coffee drinks. And when I took that out, I was terrified to put coffee back in. And I know you guys were saying, oh, you can do black coffee or you can put. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to get addicted again. I just know it. <laughs> <laughs> and my director was like, Lindsay, you were addicted to all the sugar in the coffee, not the coffee itself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of like, ah. So when I put that back in, even just four, eight ounces on days that I'm struggling a little bit with the energy, it's helped so much. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you're touching on, she's touching on every point. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Lindsay. Lindsay, um, and anyone else that shares tonight, you're entered to win an ER Shred gear uh, raffle, which we'll do that tonight because I do it every, we do it every other week. Oh, okay. so it's perfect. Like, we didn't do that last week. Yeah, we do it every other week. Oh, just okay. so it's about 10 people. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, you got about a 10% chance of winning. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Next, let's go with um, Samantha. Sure, Samantha uh, Bro Brokelsby. You'll have to correct me if I'm saying your last name wrong. So how would you say that? Yeah. It's Brocklesby. Brocklesby. I was going to say Brocklesby, but I'm like, Brocklesby. I probably. Now, exactly Samantha, I, 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 Samantha, <laughs> I want to demonstrate to this. I've got a lot of friends on this call, and I want to demonstrate to the friends on this call that I really am magic. So okay. I'm just going to like, I'm going to say something random, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to hypnotize you. Okay. Does this sound, okay. does this sound fair? Okay. This sounds totally fair. All right. So, Samantha, um, I don't know what you do for a living. I've never met you. Have we ever met? Never met. We've never met. Okay. Samantha, never from, now on, from now on, you are Samantha, the auctioneer. Go ahead and give people an example of what an auctioneer might do. One hundred one now with fifty double fifty. Yeah, bid fifty double fifty now. Seventy five, seventy five. I'm bid fifty now. Seventy five, seventy five now. Sixty, sixty double sixty, sixty double sixty. I'm bid fifty now. Sixty now. Seventy double seventy, seventy double seventy. Ninety double ninety, ninety double ninety, ninety. Nine double ninety, ninety double ninety, ninety double ninety. I'm bid eighty now. Ninety dollar double ninety, ninety double ninety. One hundred where? One hundred one, one hundred one, one hundred one. Sold it to you. Ninety dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. How did you do that? You mysticized her. Yeah, you can thank me well, later. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. So, so, so she is an auctioneer, of course. Um, and so you were the youngest auctioneer. Is that what it was? Yeah, I was the world's youngest female auctioneer when I graduated from auctioneer college in like 1991 or 92. It's been almost 30 something years ago. Yeah. So I, I asked her to do that because yeah. I... <laughs> Yeah, it sounds so cool. I just, I love that skill set. So where are you calling from and what's your ER Shred story? And thank you for inter for humoring me. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. That was great. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm i from Fallon, Nevada. My name is Samantha Brocklesby. Uh, I've been an ER Shredder maybe for a, a month, maybe it's five weeks, six weeks, something about that. Jason Young brought me in. I've known Jason for like 35 years since we were kids. And uh uh, we love him. We love him. It's you know it's got, funny. I watched him start. Time. She'll be back. Oh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> I watched Jason uh, start slowly losing weight in November, and then now through now like forty five or fifty pounds, something of that nature. And I have been on. I I was 
I'm a working mom. So I've been a non cooker for the last uh, 20 years of my life. And uh, when COVID hit, I had to learn how to cook again. Right. So that's a, a very hard feat to deal with. And uh, I learned how to cook canned food. So I can meat. So most of our diet was, you know, canned chicken or whatever, because we work 16 hours a day. So when I started with the ER shred, one of the benefits was it was seeing how easy it was. Jason kept saying steaks and shakes, steaks and shakes. And I thought, no way, it can't be that easy. I could barbecue that anytime or grab a can of, you know, the meat or something. Uh, Cause we live out in cow country. So it's all fresh and organic in my hair pretty much. But uh, I was having horrible problems. I have horrible problems and I have for you know, the last 20 years of, um, I have a silent GERD and terrible heartburn. And so they told me I had to find something to do over the next few years, because as you can tell, my voice is a little raspy. So it, what it is, is the, the acid in your stomach, uh, so toxic, it's eating my voice box. So eventually I just won't have a voice is how it works. And, um, diet is a major player for that. And I have been suffering really bad for the last year I've been cooking, but um, uh, I've been cooking healthier and healthier. And I just did not know how to get my body back to, you know, normal. And I'd lost quite a bit of weight. I lost 22 pounds going into COVID, you know, because I started cooking and I wasn't eating out. And, but I lost all my muscle weight. I'm getting ready to turn 45 in this last year. The muscle loss has just been tremendous. And yeah, I lost a little bit of weight, but it was tremendous. So when I talked to Jason about that fact, he said, you should just try this. And in November, he hit me up and he said, you should do this. And I was like, I'm not ready. And so in January, after watching him, I'm like, okay, hook me up. Tell me all about it. I'm ready to do this. So I convinced my husband to join teams with me. And for like the last uh, four or five weeks, we've been doing, we did one ER shred completely. And we both were down nine pounds. And it was amazing, but zero heartburn. I'm not saying this is a cure, but it has removed all of this uh, crap out of my life. I was so addicted to Coca-Cola and I have struggled with that for years. And the first five days, I have to tell you, I was the biggest biatch my husband has ever met because I was an angry, cranky person. My body hated the way the shakes tasted, gross. You know, I couldn't do the Scooby snacks. I couldn't do any of it. It was just disgusting. And I forced myself every day. I said, I'm going to try it every day. And then, you know, if, if I don't like it, I'm going to get over it, you know? So every day I'd wake up and then I'd say, oh my God, I'm up at 4 a.m. Full of energy. Okay, I'm going to have a shake this morning. And I'd get up and I'd have a shake and I'd be like, oh, it tastes a little better today, but I still don't like it. And so <laughs> it's your body playing tricks on you. It is absolutely the addiction you know, that candida that gets in your body and that sugar addiction is so intense that your body will literally trick you. You got a little devil sitting over here saying, you know, oh, just have a soda, just one. It won't hurt you. Just have this sugar. It's, it's fine. And um, I would sneak, you know, you have a problem when you're hiding Coca-Cola in your closet so you can go in and fold the laundry to have a Coca-Cola. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you Perhaps know, you that's will. an addiction. It, it is like, uh, people say sugar is not an addiction. It is probably almost as bad to, to, to you know, chewing tobacco for seven years. Sugar is harder to quit than chewing tobacco or cigarettes. I mean, it's just, it is so profound. So 11 days and, you know, that second cleanse damn near killed me, almost killed my husband. I finally, I would say, do not talk to me. I'm so cranky. And at the end of the 11 days, I felt so great. I said, oh, when are we going to start again? And my husband goes, I didn't think you like it. And I go, well, I didn't, but duh, I love it now. So of course we're going to have like childbirth. <laughs> it really is, but it's your body playing tricks after that 11 days, no sugar, no soda, no carbs. I don't even want it. I could have my choice of a soda sitting here or a big fat steak. And I'm going to go for the steak 110% every time, which I was not a meat eater. I've got a negative blood type. So they say, don't eat meat. You know, I did that whole eat right for your body type. And they say, you know, you need to have vegetables and you need to be, you know, fruit. And I lived that way and I lost a hundred pounds. It, it can happen, you know, but it was, it took four years, you know, and this has just been amazing. And I feel the better right now than I have probably in the last five years. 
and it's been so really you, shocking. Brain so fog lifted. Debunked the eat right for your blood type, you think? Yes. Yes, she also, but you also said it was useful, is what you said. Well, it took her four years, okay. and she's not supposed to eat meat according to oh. her blood type. Yeah, the blood I, type. Okay, that's helpful. And it's crazy because, you know, I suffered when I did. I did eat right for your blood type. I did a little bit of the paleo, and um, and it was. I My goal was to lose two pounds a month, you know, so, and that's what I did, and it was hard. I mean, you gave up pasta forever. You give up all that stuff, which it's very stringent but um you lose all your your muscle it's really shocking you know the effects that it really does have on your body yes you feel healthy but you don't feel healthy i mm -hmm. can't even tell you just because you've lost weight that doesn't mean anything this is like uh i can't even can't tell you but you know i'm a morning person and i'm a high energy person anyway but to get up at 4 a.m i'm wide awake you know i'm like okay let's start my day but for the last few years, I just can't. I'm just, you don't feel good. You're bloated, your stomach hurts. Everything you eat just kind of makes you kind of sick. You're just, it was, it was awful. And it wasn't. Yeah. Hey, can I, can I just say right there on that point? It's pretty sad when you get to the point where you literally feel desperate despair. You feel like, yes. there's, nothing, there's nothing I can eat. There's nothing I can eat. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to eat because right. anything I ate, anything I eat doesn't serve me. Yeah. So I was there. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on. I am officially declaring you a <laughs> ER shred, badass, mofo. <laughs> you are so awesome. Thank you so much. Who you got here? You got your you got your daughter hugging on you? I do. I got my daughter hugging on me. We're getting ready. Uh we're start we, my husband and I started a new shred uh uh today, matter of fact. So and I told her the next one she's gonna get on. So oh, we'll see. That's, that's awesome. awesome. I ordered some products for her. Did, so we'll our daughter did it with us, and she's been living the lifestyle now for eight months. Yeah. I think it'll be life changing for her. So I think it'll be good. Yeah. Right. Welcome. And you should be so proud of your mama. She's amazing. Yeah. Our daughter's the only one out of all of her friends that just doesn't get the soda and the treats whenever they go places like the gas station, the yep. things that the teachers do for fun. And she's just, it's not even a temptation for her. And that's amazing. It, okay, right, so Samantha, Maverick, I spent like 50 bucks a week at Maverick for the last <laughs> years. And I, I won't even go in there now. Not even a point. She hasn't yeah. drank coffee right. in a long time either. Yeah, that's really awesome. Breaking my house. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Samantha. Well, we got three more if they're on. Let's go with Lonnie Kobanz. Are you Ooh, out there? Yeah, I bumped the... Lonnie, are you out there? Do you know how to unmute? Yep, I'm right here. <laughs> These testimonials are pretty fun. I know, I love it. All right, Lonnie. So, Lonnie, where are you calling from and who shared with you? So, I'm calling from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, and originally, I'm from Provo, Utah. <gasps> we know Provo, Utah because we're from Salt Lake <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I actually, I actually travel back to Utah every 60 days or so to see my son and my two grandkids. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, nice. yeah. But Jesse got me involved. Um, I've known Jesse, what, 10 years now, Jesse, probably we met at the gym. Yeah, I couldn't, no, listen, it couldn't be because Jesse doesn't have any friends that he's had for 10 years. Jesse <laughs> likes to offend his friends, constantly make fun of his friends. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's made fun of me then. <laughs> so uh, I've been using Isogenics since 2017, but not in any real formal fashion. Uh, and of course, he invited me to the ER Shred page a few months ago, and I just ignored it. And then, um, as others have been saying, you know, you have the COVID year where you're stuck at home and you're cooking more and drinking a little bit more and you just feel bloated and inflamed and what have you. So I told my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nephew about it. And all four of us did the, our first shred together a couple of weeks ago. And uh, everybody had great results. Um, I, I lost five pounds and, and almost five inches. Uh, but for me, the, the best thing that came out of it was I've had severe um, 
gut issues ever since a trip to Mexico three years ago. And um, I've been on a prescription medication that just hasn't helped. And that whole situation is gone, cleared up. So that was the biggest benefit for me. It's, we've been we've been seeing that, Lonnie. We've been yeah. seeing um, a lot of people, and of course, again, we're not making any cures. <clears throat> Lost my voice. No, not at all. We've been seeing a lot of people say that you know their gut health um, has really come under control, and that they've never had such control over their gut health. Now that goes for yours truly, and coincidentally, mine was uh, a result of eating the wrong kind of food in the Cayman Islands when I was 18 years old, um, and it was catastrophic. Um, and, and, you know, people don't understand the importance of gut health and that it affects literally everything. It affects your brain health. It affects your immune system. It affects everything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that, I, that yeah. was the biggest benefit for me and my family and I were doing another shred coming up, um, March 22nd. We're all going to do one together again. And then I think it was Cheryl that posted the picture of her on the stationary bike. She has a Peloton which I have a Peloton as well. So we became friends on our Peloton page together. I think it was Cheryl. And um, I happened to mention to my Peloton group that I was doing this cleanse. And so a friend of mine from Peloton, she lives in West Virginia. I don't think she's on tonight, but Tracy Barton, she had amazing results as well. Lost 20 inches. Maybe next time she'll be on. That'd be mm. awesome. Wow, that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome to have her on. And mm -hmm. you're, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming on. Did you notice anything around control over cravings? And, you know, we keep hearing it. I just want to see if you noticed either that or if you also noticed that epiphany type moment when your body started to burn fat for energy and that, that feeling of well being. Absolutely. The thing that really, I noticed was I was able to sleep really well. When I did my shred, I was traveling to Utah to see my son. And you know, when you sleep in a different bed, it's always, you know, you never sleep very well. So I was shredding while I was staying with him at his house and I slept great. Um, I'm not really a cravings type person other than, or I shouldn't say that, other than I really, really like corn chips. And so that went away. Um, I haven't had a corn chip since the shred. So I, I would say that for me, um, that was probably my main craving that it kind of cured in a sense. Yeah. It's so fun to hear, uh, Lonnie, that Jesse shared with you because Jesse literally has had no time. Um, and people don't realize how much he gives and gives and gives. And yes. we, we know because we're involved it, with him on a personal level. And um, the fact that you came on board and have had this result and that you're sharing it forward, um, well, it makes me feel good for Jesse. Yeah. So, so that's exciting because yeah. he deserves that. Mm -hmm. He's great. Yeah. Thank you. Chance and you didn't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you. We will see you in the group, I hope, a lot, you know, and we'll, we'll be keeping in touch, you know, that way. It'll be fun to catch up about you being from Provo. I'm sure we have a lot of fun stories about Happy Valley there. Oh yeah, I graduated right. from Tokyo High School, so. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So cool. Oh yeah. So cool. All right, thank you so much. Thank um, you, Lonnie. And Lon Lonnie, let us know if Tracy wants to do that next week. I'll put her on tap for next week. That would be awesome. So our final one tonight is Stephen. Uh, I think it's pronounced Rabel or Rabel, you know, Stephen, who was yeah. the YouTube story. Sorry, if I just butchered I'm that. I'm not Stephen. quite sure how to pronounce it either. Okay. <laughs> it, gets, <laughs> it, gets, it gets butchered all the time. It's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> how do you say it just so we know? Rabel. It's Rabel. Rabel. It's like if okay. you put a Y in there and just put it in front of my the A or after the A, that helps to just Okay, Rabel. <laughs> okay good to know. Stephen, who shared with you guys, um, and where are you from? Yeah, so um, Natasha, the Whedons. So Rick and Natasha mm -hmm. Whedon are the ones who introduced us. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm from, we're, my wife and I, so this is Rocio, is from uh, Springfield, Virginia. Uh, that's where we uh, are residing right now. And um, yeah, so it, th yeah, things have been, uh, 
as everybody has said, like COVID has just been a real challenge, I think for everybody, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, it, and my, I know for, for years, like my mental health too has suffered just like anxiety, lots of stress, like just really trying to um, mm -hmm. juggle um, everything with uh, what I'm doing in, in life. And we've got two young boys, we've got a, a four and a six year old. Um, <laughs> so we're used to- We got, we got a six year old right here. <laughs> <laughs> Point well taken. So, and I and I think I just overheard Mom Owen is throwing a knife at me. Just that's, <laughs> that's how real it is over here. So that's nuts. Yeah. Go uh, ahead, Stephen. Keep keep sharing though. Tell me more. No, that's great. No, I uh, I, I think yeah. So it just yeah exactly like you know it just we have kids so being at home you know like constant interruptions that kind of thing and. Uh, just trying to keep your sanity. And I think one of the biggest things that I noticed right away um, after going through this shred was uh, just really was like brain fog. Like I just, I wasn't so, my, my mind wasn't so scattered. You know, I was able to concentrate more, be more aware of my surroundings um, before I just had my mind in a lot of different places or really focused on one thing. And I've noticed that my mind has just been able to um, divert its attention a little bit better. I'm, I, I don't think I'm a multitasker, but I, I do think that I can pay attention more present and be more present in the moment, which is something I shared. Um, so I, I definitely feel that, that I've gotten a benefit out of that. And uh, yeah, like some, like some of the guys have mentioned like tone and their muscle, or even the women have mentioned like tone and their muscle. Like I've noticed uh, even after like working out and not being sore right away, um, now I haven't tried a really like intense workout, but I've noticed that even after like I can still go like several days in a row on push-ups, you know, and and not feel super sore the next day or a couple of days is when you normally feel that um, that pain, you know, the soreness from, from having worked out. I don't feel that anymore, which is amazing to me. Um, and then yeah, the cravings like I still have cravings, but not in the same way. Like I, I taste fruit, like fruit is like really sweet now. It wasn't nearly as sweet as it was. Um, chocolate is like, eh, you know, I like it, but it's not amazing like it was before. Um, <laughs> my wife and I tried this chocolate cake. Um, so if you've, if you've heard of, uh, what was that called? What's the chick cake called? The tuxedo, the tuxedo cake mm -hmm. at Costco where you can get it. And it's like right. chocolate mousse, like, chocolate it's just like intense chocolate used right? to be delicious yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it still tastes good what happened? Why we cast a spell on you <laughs> must have been you <laughs> yeah it, okay. you know it's just different right it's like like you're yeah the craving is not there it's not like you have to have another piece and another piece another piece you're like i have one you're like that's good i enjoyed that but that's hey, you know what's cool, guys. Let me just touch on that for one sec because we have four kids. How many kids do you guys have? Phil. Okay. Feels okay. like so, four. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to notice something. Um, first, you start off your kids on breast milk, formula, a little bit of rice cereal. And what's interesting is as you start to feed them other things, a lot of times their response is like, even if you fed them some like something really yummy and sweet, they're kind of like, Oh, and I remember whenever I fed my children, um, you know, I'll just go ahead and admit that there were times when I would just kind of out of curiosity to see their response, I would let my kids taste the soda pop. And I got to tell you, they did not like it. Not at first they didn't. They were like, oh, <laughs> dad, what are you drinking? I think that's probably a natural response. You know, I, I think we're probably not meant to eat that stuff. And they're mm -hmm. probably telling us something. Yeah. What other benefits did you guys notice? Uh, yeah, and just uh, like you had the energy. So uh, that took a little bit longer for me. I know it varies obviously from individual to individual, um, but I can definitely tell like I'm getting better sleep. So I know that the energy is definitely like changing. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so I've definitely just like felt more, the, the energy is there because it changed because I've been more aware. I'm more like focused. I can be more like, paying attention to multiple things instead of feeling like I'm so like clouded up here. So bro, wait till you start working out hard. You're going to be, you're going to be a little bit confused because like I started working out and I couldn't stop. 
Mm. It's really nuts. I, I wanted to keep going and wanted to keep going and workouts that are an hour and a half used to be an hour and a half used to be like, a, like, Oh my gosh, Crystal, I worked out so hard. And Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so tired. I'm so sore. And now an hour and a half, like it is nothing to me. Mm. I, I walk away feeling complete. Like I could go another hour and a half. It's crazy. Cool. It's awesome. So you know, Jesse's going to share with us all the cool things around this. Did we ask uh, who shared with you? Yeah, um, the Whedons. The Whedons. Oh, hey, aren't they amazing yeah, people? They oh, we love them. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're like the, they epitomize this culture. Yeah. I mean, they are just something special. That's yeah. Natasha and Rick. And they yeah, are. Yeah, we love them. Those are some of the best people in the world. So grateful that Bradley, Brad introduced us to them because boy are they special this this culture is special i'm just want to say that yeah we're going to go ahead now and thank you so much for being on you guys yeah, thank you guys we'll see you guys in the group as well and get to know you better and keep cheering you on and thank you for all you're doing to cheer others on thank you for the mm -hmm. youtube video everybody go check yeah. out uh his youtube video because he did a great job of that yeah i loved it <laughs> All right, Crystal, do you want to introduce Jesse? And uh, we're going to, Jesse's not going to have a lot of time. I told you, Jesse. Okay. Right. Hey, Sean, real quick, real quick, because I'm not important. Paul, Paul Supley, hop on here real quick. Okay, I'm here. Go for it, brother. Hey, so I want to make sure that Paul's story gets shared first, because you're way more important than I am. So let us know who introduced you to ER Shred. Tell us what's going on. Share your story with us. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, all right, so I, I'm calling from Ocean City, Maryland. So obviously, you know, Adam Sisk is my guy. And uh, just constantly seeing his, uh, his posts on LinkedIn. Um, then I saw a couple things on Facebook, but a lot on LinkedIn. And one day I kind of asked the question, what's going on here? And that was uh, maybe a month ago, five weeks. So, uh, you know, I'm, the, you know, a little bit of my history. I own two restaurants in which there are three bars. So, you know, Lots of booze, lots of food, um, absolute sugar junkie. I'm 52. I have been addicted to sugar for exactly 52 years. Um, I'm a good Catholic, so I've been drinking since I was 12, so that's 40 years. And, uh, you know, he, he told me about this shred, and I'm like, you know what, I've done all this crap before. I've done, I, I was one of those guys. I am a big skeptic. And, uh, you know, I did an 11 day true fast one time and I'm like, you know, this is, this is badass. This is awesome. On day 12, I was like shoving so much crap in my face. I just couldn't stop eating. And so that's kind of what I was expecting. Five days into this, absolutely zero sugar cravings, no alcohol cravings, like gone, completely gone. I'm like giving either of them, either of them up, but I haven't had a soda in over a, over a month. Um, I can actually think clearly. And I know I've heard, we've heard a lot about the brain fog and it's, I, I see a lot of squirrels in my life. I really do, because I'm all over the place. And um, it's amazing, but that's, to me, that's the biggest thing. Yes, I lost some weight. Um, yes, I you know, lost some inches, some BMI, my BMI went down. Um, but again, no medical claims, but you know, part of my past, I was in the Marines for four years. I had a double spinal fracture when I was in the Marines. Uh, I had another spinal fracture in the lumbar spine in 2017. And I can do things I haven't done in a very long time. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty awesome, Paul. That's pretty awesome. Paul, you're, you're, um, I saw your post, by the way, Paul. You'll remember, you know, I know everybody saw it and everybody commented on it. So everybody go look up Paul's post because it, it was an awesome post. You know what's neat, Paul, is uh, what you're saying about the empowerment, right? Like after the protocol, usually it's like, what do I do now? It's like, oh, snap. Now it gets mm -hmm. real. And I'm just telling you guys, like, there's something different here because it's different post ER shred. And it's not because we're, we're helping. It's not because we're giving you guidance. It's because it's born from within you, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, it's, it's bizarre to me, again, being that sugar junkie. I've had a bag of peppermint minis in my glove compartment for two months. And today I'm waiting for my son to get out of high school, get out of school. And I took one and I opened it up and I took a bite and I was like, you know, and the, it was good. But I was like, holy crap. 
this is not what it used to be. Just like you guys were just talking about the chocolate cake. It was delicious and it was okay, but it wasn't like it was before where, you know, one bag was a single serving for me, just throwing it back. But I mean, my, and again, I, I, te I also teach full time. So, you know, my chef jackets, I became that guy, Shh. the chef jackets, the buttons would pop. <laughs> that's, that's awful. That's, I mean, that's embarrassing. And I, I don't have a frame that handles the weight very well. I got like skinny legs and a big pot belly. That ain't good. That's not good. So, you know, it, you know I came back to, I came back to uh, it was, was it this semester? And we have a custodian, Octavia, and she's absolutely amazing. But we were getting on the elevator and she hadn't seen me uh, for about four months. And she goes, whoo, chef, you've been eating. I was like, I got to do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this has been good. Way to yeah. go, Paul. Paul, while you're there, you know, you might win because I just put your name in this little jar here. It's all the only jar I had available, but we got about 11 or 12 names in here. They're all wet from <laughs> the bone broth. We didn't have to divulge that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm not going to look. I'm, I'm going to shuffle them around. Let's see what we got here. Someone's going to win some ER shred gear. It's Jason Young. Yay, Jason. Jason Young. You're the winner. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You said every other week, and I thought, oh, I missed out. Oh well, next time. No, so, that was you. Let's go. That was so, you. You were last. Don't send no pink hats. Just no pink hats. See. Oh, we're gonna send you a pink hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I will wear it with pride. All right, guys, we're going to turn over to our nutrition coach, Jesse James Jamnick. You out there, Jesse? Jesse, you got like a couple minutes, man. End, end us out. Two minutes. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Listen, I'm going to do things a little different if you don't mind tonight because we only have a couple minutes. So first off, I'm really, really excited because I went to my mailbox when I got home from work and... Yeah. Yes, I beat everybody in North Carolina. Suck it, you can't have it. Uh, anyway, so listen, here's the deal. Um, I just want to share this with you guys. I have a serious sinus infection right now, but I'm going to take my own words. I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to bring it to you. So here's the thing. Um, I've been in the nutrition industry, in the sports industry, in the coaching field for 20 plus years of my life. And I will tell you, you know, I'm not somebody who, you know, Lonnie said she's known me for 10 years. She has, we met in the gym. Lonnie has seen me do some ridiculously crazy stuff when it comes to workouts. Um, and I will tell you that there are so many different ways that you can approach things. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, the ER shred way was what got me in shape because I'd, I'd be completely lying to you. I've been in shape for many, many years. I've been shredded for a very, very long time. I cracked the code because I never gave up. You know, I have this thing uh, because of my past, my childhood, the stupid things that I've done in my life that I had to learn this thing called grit. And grit, is going to get you further than anything else that, that, that you could possibly imagine. So there's been things. Now, Sean always says, Jesse's this ultra marathon runner or whatever. Yeah, I've played the bodybuilding game. I've done the, the, the obstacle course racing game. Today, I do the ultra marathon running game. If you're not sure what that is, I have a race coming up on March 27th. It's called the Georgia Death Race. It is 75 miles long. It is 16,000 feet of climbing up and 16,000 feet of going back down. The down hurts 10 times more than the up. So don't let the up scare you. It's the down that you got to be scared of because that puts a beating on the body. I want to just share with you something. I have done, you know, that race is coming up. I've done this race twice. I've also done something called the Spartan Death Race twice. I've run multiple 88 Ks. I've done 50 milers, 50 Ks, which is 31 miles. I just did that as a training run last weekend. And I have never felt better in my entire freaking life. Now I have done ultra marathon running and bodybuilding and Spartan racing. And I've done it with vegetables and I've done it with counting macros and I've done it with high protein, low protein, this, that, the other, you name it, because nutrition for me and science for me, one of the things that I'm very blessed with in my brain is that I am okay with change. And a lot of people get very scared when it comes to change, but I realize that change is the only constant that we actually have. 
change is inevitable and you have to be open-minded. You have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to go after things, even though it's not the mainstream way, even though your coworkers may be making fun of you, even though, you know, somebody may be talking crap, you got to be willing to kind of step outside the box. And I realized, and I'm very fortunate to realize that nothing good happens inside the box. Everything, everything good in life happens outside of the box. And if you're not willing to step outside of that box, you will never actually fully understand and appreciate what all these beautiful things, my watch is yelling at me. Uh, you'll never be able to understand the beautiful things that life has to offer. And I just want to share my, my update with you versus going into the whole ER Shred protocol, because we don't have time for that really tonight. You can go to ershred.com and you can hear the beautiful presentations that we've done or, or go back to a call. But I want to tell you from my 20 years of experience of, of never giving up. I mean, I'm not a person that's gone on and off. I didn't slip to cookies and cake, although I, I've enjoyed them my entire time. Lonnie can tell you this. She's known me for half the time for crying out loud. Like I've always been a person that stuck to it because nutrition for me and health for me growing up as a little fat kid, I never wanted to go back there ever again in my life. It, it was just something that for me, nutrition saved my life. Working out saved my life. It gave me meaning when I felt hopeless, when I didn't feel like I wanted to live life anymore. And there was many of times that that's happened for me. Working out for me was my drug. Some people turn to food, some people turn to drugs themselves. But for me, working out was my drug. It's always been my drug. It's my happy place place. I have never in my entire life, can I just tell you that after last weekend, not only did I destroy 31 miles and I got 7,000 feet of vert on this run, I literally worked out the next day with zero soreness in my body. That has never, ever ever happened to me. And I have run so many of these races and pushed my body to the limits. And I've done it with carbs and I've done it with, you know, all these other ways that my clinical nutrition books taught me how to do. And, and the functional medicine doctors said was the right way. Well, here's what I got to say to them. They don't know what they're freaking talking about because this is the best way that I've ever found in my entire life. And here's why. Here's why. It fuels the body at a cellular level. You see, if you go back in time, not only do I study nutrition, I study the way that nutrition came. If you look from 1960 and prior to 1960, and then you look 1960 onward, that's where all of our troubles started. That's when grains came in and sugar came in and people told us not to eat fat anymore. Whoever did that should be shot for crying out loud. Oh wait, they're dead. Thank God. Because that was the stupidest advice that somebody could have ever given the population was to take fat out of their body. 90% of our body is designed to function off of fat. 10% of our body is designed to function off of glucose. That's your brain. So in the ER shred protocol, we are, we are literally addressing the two major root causes of, of bad health, inflammation, chronic inflammation, and insulin. If we can control insulin sensitivity and resistance, and we can control chronic inflammation, and we can attack that at the root, at the root cause of that issue, we are going to have profound, amazing things happen to our health. And all of you are at a different place. So everybody's going to have a different story. But I just want to share with you my personal experience of doing every style imaginable. You want to talk about a guy who's put every supplement in their body? That is me. I've put the, the skull and crossbones things that, that were on pre-workouts in my body and real, like I had bugs crawling up my arm. Anybody ever feel that before? That's not normal, but I used to take it because I thought that that was going to give me the upper edge. It's just not normal, right? You shouldn't feel that thing. These are designed to trick you. And the ER shred, why I love the ER shred so much is because this one thing right here, it puts you back in control. It gives your body the vitamins, the nutrients, the minerals that your body needs. Because you see, we all walk around and we go, oh, we're human beings. No, you're a hundred trillion little circles. Those little circles are called cells. And if those cells aren't functioning at peak, 
peak optimal levels, you are not going to feel your best, my friends. And, and imagine if one cell's job is to do something, and if that cell's not doing what it's supposed to do, and its job is to pass along to the next one, but it's it's got a it's got a short circuit somewhere in there. Imagine like a wire board, and one of those circuits is cut. That's basically what's going on inside the body. Now it's obviously a lot more complex than that, but we like to keep things a little bit simpler around here so everybody can benefit from it, right? So I just wanted to share that update with you because I am so excited in two weeks time to go and destroy this race. Not only am I going to destroy it, I think I'm going to do a workout the day after because I know that my body is going to feel so freaking amazing. I have never felt so good. I always woke up at four o'clock in the morning, but not the way that I do now, not with the focus that I do now, not that I just jump out of bed without the groggy feeling. So I've experienced, even though I've been healthy for so many years, I experienced these things right along with you guys. And your stories, like, they, they honestly make me emotional. I got a lot going on in life right now. I'm gonna fucking cry, Sean, tonight. Like, there's a lot going on in life. I'm sweating my ass off because I'm like shivering and stuff from this sinus infection. But I just wanna tell you, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up and don't let anybody don't let any doctor, don't let any nurse, don't let any peer pressure ever get in your way of doing what's going to make you feel amazing. You fight your own fight. You go after what you have to go after. You do your own science experiments. And what's going to work for you is going to be the best thing possible. I don't care what anybody else says. And if they don't want to support you, you come to what I think is the best part of the ER shred, and that's our community. That's 21,000 people. When you say yes to the ER shred, you just gain 21,000 friends that are going to support you, that are going to pick you up, that are going to lift you up, that are going to cheer you on. And we are welcoming you with open arms. I don't care where you are in life. You come and you play. There's no messing up. There's no perfection. Perfection doesn't exist. If you strive for perfection, good luck. It's never going to happen. We all make mistakes. We all screw up. We all have ups and downs. That is normal. Congratulations. You are a human being. And I love you for that. I love you for that. And Sean loves you for that. And Crystal loves you for that because you are perfect. You were never messed up. I spent 20 plus years of my life thinking that I was messed up, that something was wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you at all. You are perfect the way you are. You've just been steered in different directions because of money, because of greed, because of nastiness that goes on in the world. And we are going to wipe away all that bullshit and we're gonna to cut to the chase and we're gonna get you what you need. And that to me is the empowerment aspect of what this ER shred is because it puts you back in the driver's seat. And that's why your health is having such profound effects. Don't look at it as something where it's this protocol. It's not an 11 day protocol. The, the ER shreds the tracks to run on. It's just your guide. It's your guide to help you figure out what makes you feel the best. And whatever that is, that's the answer. Not my way, not Sean's way. Whatever you decide that makes you feel the best, we welcome that. That's perfect in my mind. And I know that's perfect in Sean's mind too. So that's what I wanted to share tonight, Sean. You know, I just, I, I can't believe what it's even doing for me after all these years and hearing these stories and seeing personal friends of mine like Lonnie and, and I know your struggles and, and watching April and Heather, like, it's just like, like, it, it's so much. Like, I can't even like take it some weeks anymore because it's like, it's so overwhelming. You know what I mean? Like, like this is, I've never seen something like this change lives. Like I've coached people for a long time never do people come back. They run for me after I put them through things. And now people are coming to this and they're like, please let me do it again. Please let me do your elimination protocol again. You know, I feel so good. I mean, how do you deny, how do you deny the thousands of results? You, you just can't brother. You just can't. I mean, it's just crazy. Hey, Jesse, real quick. Thank you so much, brother. Before you go and we want you to rest and get well, are you doing a call tomorrow night? No, that's next week. It's Bob net Bob's tomorrow night. That's right. So, I will never miss a call. No matter uh, what. Well, yeah. listen, if Bob has a call, that'll go online. Look on the on the Bob's page or my page. We'll post it. Guys, let's Bob Jesse, you didn't have to show up tonight because I know you're not feeling well. That's part of being human. We we want to make sure, Jesse, that you know we care about you. We want you to rest up, okay?
just rest up and take it easy because we uh, we really care about you, Jesse. Hey, everybody, let's go ahead and unmute and thank Jesse for being on. We'll close this thing out. I'm gonna thank be you, Jesse. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, John. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Great Thanks, cheers, everybody. Great. everybody. Yeah. Got everybody's Thanks, name everybody. in my notes. Take care. Good night. Get well, Jesse. Get well. You will. Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> yes. Feel better, Jesse. Thank uh, you again that, for your That's why I'm here. <laughs> Netty thought. That's why I'm here, Mel, because I take my own advice. I don't just, I told Heather, I said, I don't just tell you suck it up, Buttercup. I tell myself right. to suck it up, Buttercup. You know how many times I tell myself that on my run? Suck it up, Buttercup. And I'm sweating. Yeah, you know, it had to come from somewhere when you got such passion when you say it. <laughs> Hey, for sure. <laughs> no, you can get away with that. If I if I do that to him, he'll get me back somehow. Yeah, I'll fly Listen, to Utah. Maybe I'll come run 30 miles. As far as working out, let me share real quick. I'm riding in 20 mile an hour headwinds on my bike. So I just lean forward and do different muscles in my legs now. I am always so happy to get on that bike commute. I really appreciate you guys. Oh, Have a good day. We love you, Mel. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the group. Good night, y'all. Love you. Be well. Good night. Good night. Good night.